everyone. So today I have a really exciting review and giveaway contest for you guys. But before I get started on that, I want to talk to you guys about something really quickly. And I know I sound like a broken record when I say this because I do say it so much, but I feel like I'm still getting a lot of messages and comments and tweets about it. So I just wanted to go ahead and address it and let you guys know kind of what's up, what's happening. Um, you might notice that in a lot of my videos, I have been mentioning products that have been sent to me for free. And a lot of people ha are just kind of assuming and and I guess they haven't seen my other explanations to this. They're just assuming that I have exchanged with the company, they will send me free products and I will give them a good review. And that is completely 100% not the way I work. What happens is I think that a lot of cosmetic companies know that I've tried out a bajillion different products. So they know that I kind of know what makes a good lip gloss, what makes a good eyeshadow, what makes a good liner. So they'll email me asking me if they can send me some products and I can give them my opinion and my feedback, which is one of the biggest honors in the entire industry to have a company kind of want to know your opinion and trust your opinion. So that's what happens and a lot of times they send it in the hopes that maybe it will wind up in one of my videos. Obviously, they have gone out of their way to send it to me. So I am going to, you know, if I love the product, I'm going to mention it in a video. So I don't think you guys understand that I get a lot more products sent to me than I actually show you. And the ones that I choose to show you are top of the line, my 100% favorite products that I'm going to be using in my own collection every single day. So when I show you, I don't want you to think that, you know, oh, I got these products for free. So I'm like, oh, I'll do a video for you because that's absolutely not how I do it. I want you guys to trust what I'm telling you. And I want you to know that what I am telling you is my honest opinion. No amount of free products or money would ever make me want to give you guys a bad review. And I have turned down free products and money for a product that I don't like before multiple times. So I just wanted to go ahead and say that. I know that's a long intro um, and I kind of do sound like a broken re record because I've said it before but I feel like maybe some of you haven't seen my other explanation videos because I'm still getting accused and asked about it a lot um, yeah so when I show you guys a product I will tell you my honest opinion there are so many products that you know I get and I try out maybe I buy it maybe it's sent to me that I don't like and I've thought about doing videos on those and I've talked to you guys about it before and I know that lots of you think oh well you know that would help us know which products not to buy but I feel like it would just be a little mean maybe I could do blog posts on products that I buy with my own money that I don't like because I feel like it's mean to bash a company when they've reached out to you and they want your opinion and you're like oh my gosh I hate your product so much I'm going to put it in a video and tell my viewers how much I hate your product. I just think that's a little bit mean and kind of catty. Uh, but maybe if I buy the product myself and I just don't like it, I could do a, um, either a video or a blog post on that. I think that that would be kind of a respectable way to go about it. Anyways, um, my point is that... I'm not trying to, you know, sell you guys out and tell you to go buy these products because there's an incentive for me in it. Absolutely not. But a company called Tarte Cosmetics, which I've had their products in my collection for a long, long time. You can go back and look at my first makeup collection video, and I promise you I've had some of their products in my collection forever. Um, they contacted me and said, you know, would you like to try out the products? And I wrote them back and I said, I've tried your products. I absolutely love them. So they had a couple new products they sent me and ones I had never tried before. And they offered to do a collaboration contest with me, which all you have to do is after I'm finished with my review, I'll kind of explain it a little bit more, but you just basically have to enter your name and your email address and your birthday. Um, I don't know why they need that. Maybe a birthday coupon or something. Um, and you could win the products I'm about to show you. But I wanted to review these products just because I really do like them. And I have been wearing them for a while. They're kind of like, you know, when you find something and you're just like, wow, this is a product that beats out all other products out there. And the first thing, which is my favorite product Tarte makes, and it is one of my favorite products of this category out there in the entire universe. It is my favorite of one thing. It is their Multiply. I like how you can see, let me let it focus for a second. See how it's called Multiply I? I think that's like one of the coolest things in the entire world. But what this is, is it's a waterproof mascara. I've said in multiple videos that I love 
Waterproof mascaras, the only problem is that they're hard to get off at night. They don't come off as easily, obviously, because they're waterproof. And even with makeup remover, I find that they don't come off that easily. But this is a waterproof mascara, which, by the way, if you don't know, I love waterproof mascaras just because I feel like they hold the curl of your lashes better if you curl them with an eyelash curler before you put the mascara on. I've tried it out, one on each eye, the same formula, but like one's waterproof and one's not. The waterproof one, by the end of the day, looks far better far more dramatic. Um, so this is a waterproof mascara that I was excited to try out, but I was like, you know what? I bet when I go to take it off, it's gonna be horrible to take off and I'm never gonna wear it because I don't like you know, rubbing at my lashes that much when I'm washing my face off. Well, let me tell you, if you just use a little bit of eye makeup remover, this comes off just as easily as normal mascara. And I have never found a waterproof mascara like that. So that is why this is my favorite waterproof mascara in the whole entire world and I love waterproof mascara and I have it on my lashes right now. So it does make my lashes pretty bold and long. I only have one coat of this on. If I did two, it would make them far more dramatic, but since it's daytime, I went a little bit, you know, less with it. If you wear regular mascara, chances are it's going to sweat off of your eyes throughout, you know, your gym class or throughout your school day. This stays put, which is why I like waterproof mascara so much. And it's easy to get off at night. You don't have to rub really hard at your um, eyelashes, which is my favorite thing. This is my favorite product that Tarte makes. It's my favorite waterproof mascara in the whole entire world. Oh, and I'll show you guys what the wand looks like. So it's just your basic big wand that's going to coat all of your lashes, top and bottom. Absolutely love it. Five stars in my opinion. The next product is this Park Avenue Princess Matte Waterproof Bronzer. First off, can I please just point out how adorable the packaging is? I think that's really cute, but basically this is a bronzer and they say that it's waterproof. Um, it is a matte bronzer. For me, waterproof face makeup doesn't really make sense to me. I was just peeling the little thing off the mirror. Waterproof face makeup doesn't make too much sense to me just because I feel like anything's gonna sweat off my face anyways. This does stay put noticeably better than if I was just going to use my normal bronzer, but in the end, I have really oily skin and pretty much no face makeup is going to stay on, but I actually am wearing this as blush today. And since I have more of a coral lip on, it really does look like blush. I think it's really, really pretty and it contours well. I thought that this was going to be really dark for my skin tone and that I wouldn't be able to wear it just because it would be so dark. But you can see that it's actually not that dark. I have it on and I have very, very fair skin. So it does work. So this is another one of their products that I tried out and I absolutely loved. And so yeah, that is what I have on my cheeks today. I think it's really pretty in the packaging. Gives it an extra hundred bajillion, killion, jillion, million, billion stars. The next product is my second favorite product that Tarte makes, and it is their Tarte Emphasize, like emphasize, but emphasize, kind of like the mascara was, Aqua Gel Eyeliner, and it's just a pencil liner. You guys know that I like gel liner better than pencil liner, just because it's easier to apply, it's smoother, stuff like that, but the fact that they have this in a pencil form is really cool because you don't have to have a separate brush. So I'm going to show you just how creamy this is. I've already swatched it all over my hand just because I was playing with it. Um, but it's very, very creamy. That was just one swatch. They have this in all different colors. And I actually have this on my lower lash line. I have the blue one. And on the top, I have the plum purple one. I don't like lining my eyes all the way around in blue just because I feel like it's a little bit too bright for me. But also, just doing the black or brown on top and then doing the blue underneath for the pop of color can get a little bit boring. So I put the purple on top and I thought it was a really cute kind of idea and I really like it. So I'll be wearing this a lot. And for back to school, if you're trying to get into wearing colored you know, makeup but you're too scared to do the blue from here to here, which by the way, I'm too scared to do it too, um, this is great if you just do colored eyeliners, you know, do one color on top, one on the bottom, or just do it on the bottom. It'll give you a little pop. It'll make you have that color without looking like you have blue eyeshadow from here to here. Um, yes, so I love how creamy these eyeliners are. They really go on really well and they stay on well. So this is my second favorite product Tarte makes and I absolutely love it. So I tried out lots and lots of things from them, but the last one that I absolutely loved and I decided I would have to wear pretty much every day is their Lock and Rolls. And what it is, is it has a cream shadow on one side with a little brush. And I like that they didn't use 
a sponge applicator. It's actually a brush just because I like that a little bit better. It's a little bit more high quality to me. And then on the other side, it's a roller with loose eyeshadow in it. So it has one of those little roller balls on the top that you kind of roll on. I absolutely love these. I've been wearing this in a lot of videos lately and you guys have been commenting asking me to do, you know, a review on whatever I'm wearing on my eyes or a tutorial showing you guys how to do it. I have it on today. So I'm going to put in the bottom bar any of the videos. It's like my latest two or three videos. I've been wearing these lock and rolls and I have lots of different colors. This one's in rose ivory. It's the one I'm wearing today. I have it in my crease and on my lid. I don't have a separate crease color and I think it's really pretty, really natural, goes great if you're doing colored eyeliner just because it's very simple. Um, but lots of you have been saying, you know, I love what you're wearing on your eyes and it has been my Tarte Lock and Rolls. So I'm gonna post in the bottom bar links to the videos that I've worn this in so that you can see if you do, do do different colors or if you do do a crease color what it'll look like. I absolutely love this concept and idea and it's really easy to throw in your bag if you want to touch up you know your makeup or anything like that. So those were my favorite products out of all of the ones that I reviewed from Tarte. They're ones that I've been wearing constantly and that I will be wearing constantly and so you know I emailed them back and I said I really love these and they offered to do an end of summer giveaway for my viewers where you will get the waterproof mascara which is absolutely my favorite you will get the matte bronzer waterproof bronzer btw you will get the lock and roll in rose ivory and you will get um, the emphasize in this gorgeous teal color i do recommend if you guys wanted to get you know maybe another color on your own if you sign up for this contest it's really easy i'm going to put a link in the bottom bar it's actually on tartcosmetics.com so don't comment in the bottom you know asking me to enter you because i can't enter you it's really simple you just write your name your age your email address and that's basically it and you enter to win this and 10 of you are going to win this little gift pack i think it's such a cute idea i want to thank tart for giving my viewers the opportunity to win these items because they're so great if you do enter the contest 10 of you will win but also no matter who wins if you enter when you type in your email address you will be emailed a 20% off coupon to tartcosmetics.com in case you did want to order anything else um, yeah, so this is my review. That's my explanation for everything. This has been a really, really long video. I hope you guys want to enter the giveaway. Um, if you do and you win and you get the products, maybe you should do a YouTube video showing you know how, what you think about them because I'm very interested to see how other people respond to things that I absolutely love. If you have any of these products and try them out, send me a video response. I want to know what you guys think about them. Until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.